Now, if you are new here, probably don't know who I am. My name is Burrito. I play Raid Shadow Legends and I've got two other channels. But here on Raid, something that I like to do is I like to find art around wherever I can find it. Sometimes it's straight from Polarium. Sometimes it's, sometimes it's you know, um, from other places, just kind of kind of searching. And I base a lot of my videos off of the art that I see. In this case, I saw this piece of art. It's pretty nice, right? And I think this one, because I got this a really long time ago and I, it's been on my back burner. I was just like, oh, I'll eventually get to it, but I never really got to it. I think this is from Polarium Plays um, art section or whatever, wherever they post updates and they just kind of show art. But I saw this and I thought, okay, we have the Celestial Griffin from the Doom Tower. We have Rhodos, Trunda, and Iron Brago and some dead guy down there. And I thought to myself, you know what? It would be a really good idea to try to fight the Iron, or sorry, try to fight the Griffin using just these champions. So I hopped on the account. And I was like, all right, let's see if I have these champions or if these champions are here. And I do believe they are. So we see a Rhodos. We see a Trunda. Two Trundas. And we see Iron Brago. Brago. And just, I guess we'll throw in some random comment. Let's throw in Necked there, right? To kind of match the story that's going on in this artwork, right? So. I think for, yeah, we'll go with Iron Brago in the lead. We have Trunda and Rhodos, and then some dead guy. I guess we'll say, yeah, no, we'll say it's, I don't know who that specifically is. But basically, we're going to do this. And I always think it's kind of fun to try to make videos such as you know, this one. I, I have to check to see if they're built. I'm pretty sure Rhodos is pretty sure. Runda, let's do this. Runda is is Iron Brago built? Looks like he is not built, but that's fine. We're just gonna throw on some random on him. Looks like he was stalwart. Have any stalwart, stalwart piece anywhere? Happen. We do off of Deliana. Portal just to round it out here. Slide. Or kind of crap. I take off of somebody like Nana. Yeah, I think he's a defense based champion, right? Yeah, I take one of these scope ones. Space, because I think his skill is. Yeah, we'll just take this off of. I think his um call it so he decreases duration, increased defense on the A2 with the stun, but I don't think the stun's gonna do anything to the celestial weapon. We got provoke and decrease attack, but I think his passive is the biggest thing. Increases the defense of all allies by 10% of this champion's defense. So 10% of um 5,601. And we're gonna have a little bit of an increase by 34% going into Doom Tower because now I'm just going to kind of let it run just like this to fit the story that we see in the art picture. And um, one more point I was trying to make. Let's let's start it while I try to see if I can remember the point that I was going to talk about here. Oh, this is only stage 10 because the reset just happened. I'd be curious to see how far I get even on 10. If I get far at all, look, we got the one dead guy just like in the artwork. Isn't that kind of kind of fun? Kind of cool? Dead guy right there. Trunda. Rhodos. Iron Brago. Yeah, I don't know how, how well it's going to do once we get to the higher stages. Honestly, doubt it's going to do too well. Going up to... Uh, look, I mean, we're not even really doing too well here on Hard 10. So what more if we were to take it up to like hard 90 or however this however high this goes. And then maybe try to see Maybe I could bring in Tutron 
see if this does better. Because I mean, look how look how close everybody is to dying. Granted, the gear isn't exactly A1, but it looks like yet, but still, and we got our, our new best turn, but we still did it. Where's where's the? There's the sto the story happened, guys. It was written, and I brought it into existence. Rodos doing a little magic beam thing. Trunda with her RGB light hammer, mallet, necked, or the stand-in for necked, and Iron Brago just kind of standing there. Um, presence. That. Now I'm going to show you guys the builds real quick. and I just naturally do that. Um, so focusing on defense with Iron Brago, I want to make sure that he's going at decent speed. If I do remember correctly, Iron Brago actually does hit and smack pretty hard. I think I've tried to build him as a nuker once and like 100% crit rate and some crit damage with high defense. I think he wasn't at like 200 speed, but I do remember he hit pretty hard. And um, yeah, Banner, we like it's it's in okay gear. He's in okay gear. Now, Trunda. There are two, two Trundas on this account. Both in Savage, one in Cruelty Savage. We took the first one here because it had the blessing. Her stats are looking closer to 6.5, 100% crit rate, and almost 200 damage. These are the pieces of gear. Focusing on speed and crit rate, crit damage, attack. Fortunate, believe that. Attack on the banner, crit damage on the amulets, pretty standard. Soul Reaper. For the masters were taking helm smasher and obviously i don't expect you guys to go out of your way to build a team specifically for the griffin using just these guys because it's not really possible well if you want to get further along it's not really possible and this is not exactly going to be relatable to most of you guys because i don't think a lot of people just have rotos and Trundas sitting around rotos is in savage as well here are the pieces of gear Rodos is actually my favorite champion. Like, I don't know what it is, but he has been my favorite champion for the longest time. He's in a attack or attack percent boots with HP percent um, chest plate. Now, I do believe, and somebody please correct me, when it comes to Rodos, attack percent is something that you want for the chest. If we can get it on the boots, but still get a decent amount of speed, we want it on the boots as well. And then when it comes to the flat stats, like the rings, or just the ring, we want HP flat. We don't want attack. Because his damage is derivative of both attack and HP. See? So, uh, somebody please enlighten me, correct me, but I think that's the way it works. When it comes to his uh, um, percentage stats, we want attack percent with crit damage, 100% crit rate. But when it comes to the ring and the banner, we want HP flat banners and or like HP, HP flat stats, right? Something about diminishing returns or um, like you, you gain more from the flat stats with HP on the accessories versus if you were going to get it from attack. So somebody please, please let me know about that. Obviously, he's going really slow. I'd probably rebuild this because this is nowhere near capable of being competitive in higher. So I'd rebuild that. Ward of the Fallen is the correct blessing. That's what I would run. That's what Shiny runs too, or Shinny. And we're taking Helm Smasher. So, pretty good. Story time completed.